Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of this studio. My name is Adam. You guys have been asking for this for a long, long time. So this is exclusive to the studio, the full comprehensive review and sound test of the One Vibe by Marimba One. Thank you so much to my studio VIPs, Luke Uyamura, Leo Palacios, Cesar Marquez, and Artifact Percussion. Thank you so much for joining the studio VIP team. And today's featured studio artist is Marina Simmons. Thank you so much for supporting the studio show. And if you would like to become a studio VIP or studio artist, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Adam Tan, or you can click over here. You guys might remember this time last year, I made an episode about the One Vibe on this show, talking about some of the features that we'd heard about because it had just released at that time. And you guys might remember on that episode, I said, wouldn't it be hilarious? Wouldn't it be just hilarious? if Marimba One sent me a One Vibe to review in the studio. And fast forward 12 months later, where a lot of you guys were asking me to get the One Vibe on the show, well, guess what? It's here. So of course, before I continue this episode, I have to give a big shout out to Ron Samuel. The man himself from Marimba One, thank you so much for sending me this vibraphone, this beautiful Marimba One One Vibe, brand new from Arcata, California, all the way to Perth, Western Australia, so that we can have it on the show. Thank you so much, Ron and Marimba One. I really appreciate it. And of course, thank you to Alan Watson from Optimum Percussion, which is the Marimba One dealer in Australia. Thank you so much for facilitating this whole thing. It's very hard to get an instrument into Australia. So the Marimba One One Vibe, one of the most hyped instruments of the year because it is Marimba One's first attempt at making a vibraphone. In fact, it's their first attempt at making an instrument other than the marimba. And as I say many times in these videos, this video is not sponsored. I'm not getting paid to say anything good about marimba one. I'm not a marimba one artist or anything like that. I just happen to have this vibraphone in the studio and I also own the marimba one Izzy. That's an instrument that I bought myself and I really like it. So as you can imagine, I was just as excited as many other people for this vibraphone to come out because I really like the design of the marimba one Izzy and to see that on a vibraphone would be nothing short of a game changer. And so I've had the one vibe in the studio for two weeks now and it's been really fun. I've tried everything on it, I've played it, I've looked at all of the parts, everything like that. First, we're gonna talk about the model lineup. So the One Vibe by Marimba One comes in four models. You have the silver with no motor, the silver with motor, the gold with no motor, and the gold with motor. And basically the least expensive one is the silver with no motor, and the most expensive one is the gold with the motor, which is the one that we have in the studio today. That's right, we have the most expensive One Vibe available in the studio today. Yeah. Now the One Vibe has all of the bells and whistles you'd expect on a vibraphone and it's priced accordingly. I would say it's definitely in the middle of the vibraphone market. There are vibraphones out there that are more expensive than the One Vibe, but this one is right in the middle. And I say this is affordable for what it is. I know it's not like super cheap or anything, but it's actually a well-priced instrument considering you get all the features like the gas lift, the frame is super light, all of these things I'll talk about later, but I think it's a pretty good value proposition for the price. Now we can talk about what's in the box. What's in the box? In the box. What's in the box today? What's in the box? So you guys might have seen on my Instagram story, the One Vibe came in a massive, massive box. Like it took up the whole of my living room. It was really big. And inside that box, you have all the parts in layers and they're tied down with cable ties. It's not going anywhere. Like it's really well packaged. I really like it. Definitely not a one person job. You definitely have to take out all the parts first. You can't carry the whole box by yourself. It's really big and heavy. So in the box, you'll get a total of seven components as well as a cover. 
And these components are very easy to identify. I'm sure if you've seen a vibraphone before, you'll know exactly what the components are, but I'm gonna list them anyway. So the first component is called the harp, which is the frame, and it's the heaviest component, I think, out of all of them because it has, you know, all of the hardware, it has the wheels, it has the motor. It's basically most of the frame. The second component is the center support, which goes in between the harp and has the struts on it, so it keeps it stable. Then the third and fourth components are resonators. So you have the accidental resonators and the natural resonators, and instantly you notice one of Marimba One's design signatures, which is that curve. That curve. That curve is one of my favorite things about Marimba One instruments, and I'm glad to see that it's on the vibraphone as well. The next two components are the bars. So you have the accidental bars and the natural bars, and these bars are gold, and I really like the gold finish on these bars. Like seriously, it is totally understated. It is not like a really gaudy yellow gold. I really like it. Finally, the last component is the pedal with the strap. Oh, and let's not forget about the cover. Okay, once I had all of the parts, I brought them to the studio and I began installing. Now remember, I am not a vibes expert, I've never owned a vibraphone before, and even someone as incompetent <laughs> as myself could set up this vibraphone pretty easily. Again, if you want to check out a full installation tutorial on how to put the vibraphone together, you can check it out at Marimba One's channel, which is over here or in the description below. But the vibraphone that they use in that video is the first generation one vibe. They've done a couple of minor revisions, which I will talk about later in this video, so it's almost the same. But anyway, the installation is really simple, completely toolless. In fact, I will go through it right now. So the first thing I did was put its frame on the side. Then you have to unfold the legs. Now the legs are held down by these Velcro straps, which I think is a really nice touch because I know a lot of vibraphones at my university do not have anything to keep the legs folded up. So this keeps the legs folded up. They're really discreet. You just peel them off and out the legs come. Small design touches like that are very nice. The center support has these arms and you should unfold these arms first before you put them on the vibraphone because otherwise it's not gonna fit. Ah! You put the center support in, it should be really self-explanatory as to where the slots are and then tighten all the screws. Remember, this is a toolless installation. All the screws are already there, so all you have to do is tighten. The next part is the pedal, and all you have to do is basically thread the pedal through the hole in the center support. You leave the two plastic washers to sandwich the support in between, and then you put all of the knobs and stuff on top later on, and you tighten that. If you loosen this knob, the pedal will move side to side more often, and if you tighten this knob, it'll stay rigid. So you have a bit of control over there. And then you attach the strap. Now, I know a lot of you guys have talked about this strap. You say that it's very cheap looking. It doesn't really match the aesthetic. Personally, I really like the strap because you can fold it up really easily. It fits in like a small pocket in your bag or whatever, instead of this big gigantic pole. It has a few clips and a few adjusters so you can adjust the length of the strap as you wish, exactly how you like it. But anyway, you attach this strap to the pedal and you have three anchor points on the pedal that you can attach it on. So obviously, if you attach it closer, it'll be lower and if you attach it further away, it'll be high. Okay, so once the pedal is on, the frame is basically complete. You can bring it back to its upright position and then you can start putting the resonators in. And obviously you have to do it from the bottom and you will notice that there is no longer a need to put the belt over the resonators. So Marimba One has now introduced a magnetic drive system on their motors, which I think is really cool. If you look at Marimba One's installation video of the one by they used to have to put the belt over the thingy and then the thingy over the thingy. And it was just really troublesome. Like if that belt snapped, you basically had no motor. But now the motor runs completely completely independently to the fans. So basically, once you put the resonators into the frame, the fans are ready to go. You don't need to do anything with the belt. You don't need to touch any of the magnets. It's just ready to go from the box. I think that is really good because I would hate to fumble with this belt like once you put the resonators in, there is a bolt that you can adjust at the bottom of the damper bar that will make the damper bar push towards the bars more or less, depending on how much sustain you want from the bars. That's personal preference. I didn't touch it at all because I'm a complete amateur of vibraphone. <laughs> and then you just put the bars on as you normally would with any keyboard instrument. It's very, very simple. And then you have to clip the ends together. And because I was really lazy and I'm really weak and I didn't pull the clips together, I just tied a knot, but um, shh. I found that the rope tension was more than enough anyway, so I didn't have to actually clip it together. But if you want to be safe, you should clip it together. And that's it. Basically, the installation should be done in about 10 minutes. It's really, really easy, but it took me longer because I had to film every single aspect of it. Here is my reaction to hitting the bars for the very first time. Full disclosure, this is the first time I've ever hit this instrument. Ooh. So that's the installation process covered. Let's talk about the design. 
Let's just get the aesthetics out of the way. I love the look of this vibraphone. I love the black, stealthy appearance. Like everything is black except for the bars, whether you chose gold or silver. And there's also the shiny little One Vibe logo, which is very small, very discreet. Again, I really like the black resonators. Like I'm not a fan of silver and gold resonators with silver and gold bars. It's just like too much silver, too much gold. It's just so in your face, but this design is very understated. And of course there is that curve. Oh. It's an instrument that you can definitely take anywhere, whether it be in the back of an orchestra, a solo recital at a university, or even like a jazz club or anything like it just looks great. The second thing that I really like about the vibraphone is the weight. It's a really light instrument. It's only about 50 to 55 kilos, so it's lighter than me. And even someone as weak as me can lift it with one hand. Once you've got all the parts together, the whole thing just feels very robust. So it's light, but it's strong. The third thing I want to talk about is definitely one of the game changers of vibraphones, which is the marimba one gas lift. Gas lifts are not a new thing on marimbas or vibraphones, but it's very, very uncommon for vibraphones to have gas lifts. And I'm pretty sure this is the only one of its kind in the market at the moment. It has the same gas lift that I love on the marimba one Izzy on the vibraphone. It works exactly the same. It supports the weight of the instrument. So when you unlock it, it just stays in place. And all you have to do is push it down or push it up. It's very important for instruments to be level and it's really hard for them to be level when all you have to rely on are lines with no numbers because then it's just like, oh, excuse me, could you lower the vibraphone to two and a half blocks aligned with the North Star, positive chi from the North. <laughs> it's just so much harder than just saying, 87. So you can raise the vibraphone quite high with the gas lift and quite low very very easily and you will always be level because of those numbers. I really like it. The next feature that gets talked about a lot on the vibraphone is the motor. And of course, I want to give another shout out to Marimba One and Optimum for sending me an Australian model vibraphone that plugs directly into the wall. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So it's very simple. The green switch, you switch it on. And then the red switch, you switch to run, which means to turn on the motor to get it started. And then you use the slider to adjust your desired speed. So the switches themselves are very big. It's very nice, very easy to turn on and off. And they have lights behind them to let you know whether it's running or not. And that's completely normal. Most vibraphones have that. But what most vibraphones don't have is a motor that always stops in the vertical position. So this means no matter where you decide to flick the switch to the stop position, the motors will always stop in the open position. Like the motor actually goes a little bit extra to stop in the vertical position, which I think is a really cool feature because there are a lot of times where you play pieces where you need to switch the motor on and off in between and you want it to always stop in the vertical position. Like you don't want to have to time it exactly to the point where I will stop it at exactly 90 degrees on the dot. In addition, the motor itself is quite silent. You don't hear a whirring noise when the fans are rotating. It is literally almost dead quiet. And in most performance situations, you will not hear it. Another thing I really like about the One Vibe, which is also on the Marimba One Izzy, is the use of felts. So basically every contact point where there might be metal on metal contact, that is around the resonators, where the pedal dampening bar might hit the frame by accident, all of these areas have felts on them. And I know this is a really minor detail. I know it's something that literally would take like five minutes to implement. Just like those Velcro straps you saw in the install video, which keep the legs up, they're very discreet. Like when you're performing with it, you can literally just tuck them in and no one will ever see them. It's just small things like that that I really appreciate. And finally, just all the hardware components. The wheels are really big and robust and they just look kind of nice because they're all black. The brakes of the instrument are very easy to use. They are very big. You can even lock them with your thumb. Like you don't have to kick the thing. <laughs> No, it's just a very simple brake system and it's on the side of the player so you can always see where the brakes are and you don't have to walk around the entire instrument to stop it from rolling away. All of the joining points have really big knobs so it's really easy to tighten and loosen. You don't need to be a super strong person to have a really nice secure fit. Overall, I think the design is great and also the cover, the cover is really nice. It's this really nice soft polyester material, kind of like a throw blanket. Really nice. I wish my marimba had a cover like that. <laughs> and finally, we get to the sound. And basically, I'm not going to say anything about the sound just yet. I want you to hear it for yourself in this sound test first. And as I've said to you guys many times before, I'm definitely a lot better at marimba than I am at vibraphone. So it was a bit alien for me to get on vibraphone for the first time in a while, probably about 10 months or so. So I hope you enjoy the sound test.
So what do you think of the sound of the one bar? Do you think it's a big sound, a small sound? Like I honestly can't do it justice. I think it's a really huge sounding instrument. It's warm where it needs to be, dark towards the bottom, and it definitely resonates for a very, very long time. And in fairness to the instrument, I use Tony Miscelli mallets, which are my favorite vibe mallets at the moment. I use them for pretty much everything that comes to me that is vibe related. And if you wanna check them out there in the description below, I'll also do a video on them very, very soon. But I think for me personally, what would really sell this vibraphone to me is the design. The design features on this are literally at the top of the game right now with the gas lift, the lightweight. Everything is just so functional. The small details that they've paid attention to, this is what would make the difference between this vibraphone and something similarly priced from another brand. And the sound I think is definitely better than a lot of other vibraphones I've heard. It's also on par with a lot of similar vibraphones on the segment. But again, the differentiating factor for me is all of these little features, all of these design elements. So, does it get the studio seal of approval? Absolutely. Bam! The studio. Oh yeah. Once again, thank you so much to Marimba One and Optimum Percussion for sending in this vibraphone. I'm gonna be really sad to say goodbye to it in a couple of days time. It's really just a really outstanding instrument. Really good job Marimba One for making a vibraphone for the very first time and getting it so right. 
in the box, in the box. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to ask me anything about the One Vibe or anything else on this show, please leave me a comment down below. And once again, if you haven't already hit that red subscribe button below, please hit it because we have just hit 5,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for all of the support for this show. Once again, a year ago, a year ago, I said, wouldn't it be nice if we could get this vibraphone in the studio? And it's here. So thank you so much, everyone, for watching this show. I really appreciate it. And of course, there's only one month left until Pass Hong Kong. There's only one month left until PASIC. There's only one month left until our recital. So if you're going to be at any of these things, please let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to meet you. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next week for another episode of The Studio. Good night.